comic book community long box love affair here with an out of town comic book haul. I was in Chattanooga, Tennessee this weekend. Uh, my sister lives there. And I spent uh, two t separate times surfing for comics at local comic shops and used bookstores. Um, I was going to take a trek to Marietta, Georgia to see the, um, uh, what was it, Half Price Books. Uh, I see some some people posting their Half Price Books hauls on here and they look epic. And uh, it was about two hours away, so I couldn't justify it on the timetable I was there. Uh, so I, I dedicated the time to family as well as some comic hunting. So I went, on one day I went to two shops and the other day I went to three. So I'm going to do this in sequential order. So the first day I started at McKay's Books in Chattanooga. And that's a used bookstore, um, CDs, records, and comic books. So uh, I picked up Deadpool's Secret, Secret Wars number three. I think this might be the first time he actually wears the black Venom costume. Um, so more of just a cool issue to have. I love the cover and, um, you know, maybe it's a spec book, maybe not. And then uh, my man Rag718 has been posting a lot of these um, Iron Man 219s that he picks up, uh, the first appearance of Ghost. So I found my own. Uh, so I found 219, 220, and 221. So I'll hold on to those for a little bit and maybe flip them at one point or another. So uh, I was excited to find those. Also found New Avengers number one. It's a, I think this is the second print cover. I can't find anything inside that says it's second print though. Um, but for 75 cents, I thought I'd pick it up and, and see how that went. Um, also found Nova number one for $1.50. Brilliant for 50 cents. This is, I'm not sure, is this going to be part of the Netflix deal that uh, Mark Millar's Icon Universe um, uh, struck? I don't know. So uh, I just picked it up. I like Bagley artwork, so I thought I'd try that. Um, also picked up another copy of New Avengers number four, first appearance of Maria Hill, and not one but two copies of New Avengers number seven, the first Illuminati. Also picked up, and that was 75 cents. Picked up Superman, Lois and Clark number seven, Infinite Crisis number five, the first appearance of uh, the new Blue Beetle. Finally found my own copy of this, Convergence Superman number two. I think this is the first Jonathan Kent, or it's, it's among the first. Another copy of Aquaman number 19, King Nereus, I believe is how you say it. And he's supposed to be a baddie in the, the new uh, Aquaman films, whenever those happen. Uh, Avengers number nine, Introducing the Wasp. I think this might be Introducing the Wasp in the normal continuity. I think her first appearance was in an out of continuity book. And I've never seen these in the wild uh, for a decent price. Star Wars Dark Empire 3, number 2, and number 6. Not too bad. Uh, I, I, that's a set I've been wanting to pick up for a while. It's the Dark Horse Star Wars run. Uh, love this cover, Batman 676, the RIP storyline, RIP. Just for giggles, the New Warriors, number 1. These are the characters that are, I believe, more prone, at least a couple of them, to be in the new TV show. I think it's a TV show. So I just picked it up as an investment book from 90 cents. And then Thor Disassembled, number 82 and 84. And I've picked up a couple of the other ones uh, recently too. I sold my set uh, a while, while back. So it, when I find them cheap, I pick it up. So that was pretty cool. And then just a side note, my mom was visiting my sister as well, and uh, she had been eating Trix cereal, I think it was, so there's these mini comics. Uh, so she brought them for me, uh, Justice League 2 and 4. Not sure anything about them. I'll probably open them up, um, but I have them here, just kind of fun little things. Anyone else getting these? Um, let me know. So that was McKay's, and I got all those books for 30 bucks. So I thought that was pretty good. And then I found this other comic store. I called the owner up. I couldn't understand what he was saying, but I had asked, do you have back issues? And it sounded like they did. 
So I went in and uh, they had buckets and buckets of back issues, but uh, they also had a bunch of things under uh, the bins with more, more long boxes. But that said, they were just marked box 35, box 36, uh, and they were random. So he said, send him a list. I may do that. Um, it seems a little disorganized, but I found two issues I was looking for. Groot 4 and 5. So these are the first appearances of Baby Groot. And I'd been looking for that. And I thought it was a decent price. Four, four and a quarter. Um, I also found this Battle World, Secret Wars Battle World. The, the first of the, or disputed first of the uh, prototype. But Exiles 86 is really the one to find. I can't find that anywhere. Picked up a Venom 11. Love that cover. I think that's Tony Moore. Um, Venom number three. I'm trying to complete this run. I'm almost there. Venom number 10. It's a cool, cool cover. And I'm getting close on my Jenny Frizen covers. Wonder Woman 17. So that was that one store. Uh, the next day, I went to three. And the first one was a used bookstore slash comic store that had current issues as well as stuff that they, you know, found. So I picked up another copy of Teen Titans 12. This is super, super hot. Uh, if you find it, get it, hold on to it, or maybe flip it if you feel like it. Um, I've ordered a bunch of copies on Midtown. They're en route. Um, first appearance of the man who laughs uh, for the Dark Knight's Metal storyline. Um, I've not seen this in the wild, but I got two copies of this Deathstroke 19. I was excited about that. Um, I also found Carnage number 10, my first copy of this. First appearance of a new symbiote, I believe. And <laughs> found two more copies of this. I was like, you know what, for three bucks, why not? Um, maybe trading one of those. And I've not seen this one since the hype, Weapons of Mass, of Mutant Destruction number one. So people are saying this is his first cover appearance, Batch H. Also, at the store, they had a bunch of uh, back issue bins and uh, things that I, I just kind of loved picking up. So for 75 cents, I got the gold versions of Deathmate uh, Epilogue, Deathmate Prologue, and I love the art on this. The Jim Lee, Barry Windsor Smith, um, Joe Casada, Casada. Um, and again, these are all 75 cents. The Deathmate Yellow Gold Edition, Deathmate Blue, and Deathmate Red. And these are all in really good condition. They had a couple copies of this, but it had a bunch of chunks on the spine cut into it. Most of these are, are pretty solid. So I, I sniped those up as well. And last, I went to another store, didn't buy anything. Um, and then last but not least, I went to this one that had two locations just on the same block and got Wonder Woman number three, Frank Cho. I'm just picking up the variant covers because they're much better than the regular ones. Um, I also picked up Batman, or I'm sorry, Superman 154, the first Ed McGinnis. I'm debating having him sign this and putting it in CGC because um, that's the only way I want to have something signed. I don't um, uh, prefer to have the comics signed outright. So if I can document it and not have to worry about it, um, I'll do that. And Ed McGinnis is at uh, Baltimore Comic Con this weekend. So um, looking forward to that. And then a couple weekends ago, I was at a used bookstore and they had Totally Awesome Hulk number three. I did not pick it up. I thought I did. Um, so I've been looking for it. And by the way, all these are cover price. Um, so for cover price, I found Totally Awesome Hulk number three. Um, but not just one, I found two, and a third. So, really excited that uh, I found those. This is the first appearance of Kid Kaiju, uh, and he may or may not be something big in the future. I saw one store to this weekend that had this book for $15, and I was like, eh, no. Uh, and I got it for cover price, so four bucks each. Um, I, was, I was happy about that. So. That's my haul, that's my Chattanooga haul. Um, busted through it pretty quickly, but it's a huge pile of comics. Um, and I'm just gearing up for Baltimore Comic Con this weekend, so wish me luck. 
gonna meet up with a YouTuber or two. Um, if you're there, let me know. Uh, let me know what you're looking for. Um, it's always fun to, uh, if I see it, I you know, can give you a, a holler. So, um, so yeah, so hit me up, subscribe, comment below, hit that bell if you wanna be uh, notified when I submit my videos and uh, take it easy, everyone. I still get